The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare the colliculothalamal cortical slice with four major auditory structures, the inferior colliculus, the auditory thalamus, the auditory portion of the thalamic reticular nucleus, and the auditory cortex. This is accomplished by first removing the brain from the mouse. The second step is to block the brain in preparation for slicing. Next, cut the brain to obtain slices containing the colliculothalamal cortical connection. The final step is to use flavoprotein imaging to assess connectivity. Ultimately, the brain slice containing the colliculothalamal cortical connection can be used for a variety of experiments to better understand information processing in the auditory regions of the mid and forebrain. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the steps to block the brain before slicing are difficult to learn because it requires a complex double-angled cut, which is key to obtaining intact projections. Demonstrating the technique will be B.J. Slater, a graduate student in my laboratory. To prepare the cutting stage for slicing, cut a small piece of 3% agar of approximately 1 cubic centimeter to be used as a backstop for the brain, and another piece of 1.5 centimeter by 1.5 millimeter by 3 millimeters to be used as a bump to support the inferior colliculus. Next, glue the backstop onto the stage with cyanoacrylate adhesive, and then glue the bump on the right side of the backstop such that they form an 80 degree angle. On a slide marked with two lines at 90 degrees and a diagonal line at 17 degrees from the top left to the bottom right, place the brain dorsal side up at the intersecting point of the two lines. Using a razor blade,